Okay, I just wanted to record a little video here to show you how to set up the sitemap and no index manager app. Now, uh, and this is for Shopify. If you're inside your Shopify admin and within the app section, if you've installed it, uh, it, it will show up in the apps list here and, and you can just click on it. If, if you haven't um, installed it yet, just click on customize your store, search for that app name and it should be on the first page of results and install it i think it's like four bucks a month or something like that and that's just added to your shopify subscription every month so here's how to actually uh configure it based on my recommendations all right so the first place you want to go is products and then products now all your like standard products should show up in here and they should be unblocked but if you have any like test products or um, like uh, accessories that are actually options and they're not standalone products, um, you're going to tick this first box to block those and then say save selection. Uh, since all of these are like legit standalone products and, and that's not the case for any of them, I'm not going to do that for any of these. So we're good here. Now products collections. Kind of the same story here. If it's a legit collection, you want to leave it. If it's something like front page or uh, something unnecessary like that, um, then you're going to tick the first box and you're going to save. It looks like on my store here, um, all of these are legit actual collection pages. So yeah uh, I, like i said it, if you've got a holder one or like a hidden one like for example a lot of themes will come with a, a front page collection and and you can block it in here so the actual standalone page in your store is blocked from google since it, it offers no real unique content or any benefit to for google to index it it'll still show up on your home page uh but but it's just blocked from the search engine bots but um, I don't think we need to do anything in here for this store. Now the third place I'm going to go is product settings. Okay. Now we will do some stuff in here. Um, I like to have almost everything in here um, set to no follow or sorry, no index. We can, we can allow the bots to follow it because they could find good indexable pages um, at these locations, but they're not unique content pages that I want uh, the Google bot to actually index. Um, this one is for all your actual products, so you want to leave that alone. This is for out of stock products, and I leave that alone because we don't like products to be um, unfollowed or, or unindexed by the, by the search engine bots just because they're out of stock. We still want them to rank and, and be there. So we can build up like um, lists of people who are interested in, you know, um, being notified when the product's back in stock or whatever. And just to keep our rankings for that product too. Um, let's see. This will no index uh, variants. So for variants, I'm going to say no index, but they can follow. Um, and then for this, I'm going to say uh, no index, but followable and save. And that's all there is to that. Now under pages, this is kind of the same as um, like your, what I said about collection pages. If it's a legit real page, I'm going to let it be indexed. But if it's something like this, add copy, looks like we are creating some ad copy. Uh, don't want that indexed. Homepage content, that's kind of what I said about the homepage collection. I don't want this standalone page index, but it will still show up on the homepage. Um, product page, same thing here, same thing here. Um, this is actually a, a store backup app, so I don't want that page to show up. I don't want the cell banner to show up. It'll still show up in places, but I don't want it to be indexed as a standalone page. I don't want the search page to be indexed as a standalone page. That's a financing page. That's good. That's good. So I'm going to say save collection here. Okay. That's all there is to, to pages. Now under articles, uh, nothing found. So nothing to do there. Um, under blogs, 
Um, I don't believe we're going to be using the blog for these stores, so I have them blocked. Um, if you actually use your blog, you're going to leave it unblocked here, so nothing would be ticked. Under Article Settings, I'm going to say no index for the blog tag pages, but they can be followed. That's fine. HTML sitemap, sitemap I skip. Miscellaneous, okay. So this will, this will hide your entire site. We don't want to do that. Um, subsequent pages, like additional pages, I don't want index, but they can be followed. And same for search result pages. Same for 404. No, no index, but you can follow. Now for account pages like these over here, I don't want them followed or indexed. So that's the settings I'm going to go with there. And that is everything. You, you have now optimized uh, your, what this actually controls is your, um, the site map that's auto-generated. Uh, it, it, tells, it tells the app which pages you do and don't want to show up on your site map that you give to search engines that, that the Google bot and the Bing bot and other bots will find on their own. Um, and then this, act, this also controls um, your no index, no follow tags on individual pages. So if you've set up everything exactly how I, how I just showed, that's exactly how I recommend having it. So that's all there is to it.